Scholar's GeoPortal is a search and discovery tool for extracting geospatial data provided by Scholar's Portal, a service of the Ontario Council of University Libraries. University students, faculty, and researchers can use Scholar's GeoPortal to search, discover, map, share, and download geospatial data. Scholar's GeoPortal contains geospatial data that is licensed to Ontario universities, as well as a growing collection of open, freely available data. This includes land-based data such as water, roads, boundaries, points of interest, soils, aerial imagery, census geography, and much more. This video will help you to get started with Scholar's GeoPortal. We will cover accessing the GeoPortal, navigating the GeoPortal, and sharing, exporting, and saving maps. You can also click on the links in the description to move directly to the section you're most interested in. Accessing the GeoPortal Scholar's GeoPortal is located at geo.scholarsportal.info. If you are accessing the GeoPortal from off-campus, you will be prompted to log in. Click the prompt, select your school, and sign in with your university account. If you don't log in, you can still access freely available maps, which are marked with an orange lock, which is the open access symbol. Some features, including the ability to save maps, are only available if you are logged into a MyGeoPortal account. A limited number of universities support MyGeoPortal accounts through your university login. Otherwise, you can use Google, Yahoo, Facebook, Twitter, or OpenID to create and access a MyGeoPortal account. Navigating the GeoPortal In the map view, the zoom tools include a zoom in and out slider and a draw box. The X button returns to full map extent. To pan or move around the map, click and drag the mouse. Several base maps are available from the base maps link in the top right. Click on one to change the base map. Keep in mind that additional help can be found at any time through GeoPortal by clicking the orange box containing a question mark. Searching data. From the search tab, several options are available. Data search, place or address search, or select a subject category or a top keyword from the lists provided. For example, typing the keywords land use in the data search box will produce a list of available data sets. You can combine keywords using the green plus button. Click the details button for more information about the data set. Adding data. Click the add button to load the data in the map view. This may take several seconds. If prompted by a conditions of use agreement, click I agree to access the data. The data are added as layers in the map view. Zooming in on a place of interest will increase the level of detail. Add as many layers as required. Previewing data. The map tab allows options for viewing the data layers and adding map annotations. The order of the layers can be changed by drag and drop. Data layers that are represented as points or lines should be at the top, and imagery and polygon layers, such as land use, should be at the bottom. This will ensure all layers are visible at once. Unwanted layers can be deleted using Remove or temporarily turned off by clicking the checkbox. Use the transparency slider to adjust the layer's opacity, for example, to view the underlying base map. Click anywhere on the map and select Identify Layer to identify a certain object. Downloading data. From the Download tab, data can be extracted for use in a GIS program. Download by Area of Interest allows you to select a predefined area or draw an area of interest using the Draw tools. Alternately, choose Download Entire Datasets. The Output File Format default is a shapefile native to the ArcGIS program. Several other formats are available from the drop-down list. 
The output coordinate system default is same as input and maintains the original projection in which the data was created. Click Download to download each selected dataset. Once completed, these files will appear in the My Download list and are ready to be saved locally. Sharing a map. A map view can be shared using the Share button from the Map View menu bar. Click the Share button and copy the URL address from the link box. It could be fairly lengthy. Paste this in an email or make a link in text documents to share with others. The link will open the GeoPortal and display the map view you created. Exporting a map. A map can be exported in several file formats, such as JPEG or PDF. Click the Export button. Complete the information and click Export. When processed, the file will appear in the My Download list and is ready for saving locally. Saving a map. Your map can be saved to the GeoPortal and accessed for future use using the Save button along the top menu. A login is required to save maps. Click the My GeoPortal tab to view your saved maps. This concludes the guide to getting started with Scholar's GeoPortal. More help guides and information for contacting your home institution regarding using geospatial data or GIS are available at learn.scholarsportal.info slash all-guides geoportal. If you experience problems using the GeoPortal, contact Scholar's GeoPortal technical support at datagis at scholarsportal.info.